The psalmist, King David, had gone through a lot of enemy distractions in many ways. And his psalms vividly explained how God delivered him from many of those strivings of men. Sometimes he would run from his enemies and other times God himself would take charge. And other times he cries out wondering if God was ever there to help him. But Psalm 35 vividly explains how God answered David in the midst of his most terrible situation. He called on to God to contend with those who had contended with him without no cause. And God responded as is clearly written in the Bible. And the same Psalm is what we are praying praying along with you, believing that as you pray as a child of Most High God, God himself, we contend with those that have stood up against you without any cause. So let me pray with you in the name of Jesus. I pray for you to take the shield of faith into your hands, ready to extinguish every flaming dart and weapon forged against you by the enemy who prows like a lion. I declare Psalm 35 over your life today and I say contend Lord with those who contend with me, fight against those who fight against me. So may the Lord himself charge the heavenly host on your behalf as divine warrior releasing legions of angels with swords drawn to advance the enemy and fight mightily for your breakthrough, securing total victory against every tormentors and obstacles that have come your way. I command that the angel army, been led by Archangel Michael, to enforce their charge over you. As the word of God has said, the Lord God has made the angels of God to become our ministering angels. I pray no weapon will prevail against you as angels war for you. I decree according to Psalm 35, deliverance for adversity will pursue and oppress you and your family without cause as the Lord commanded his angel to shut the mouths of lions when Daniel was thrown into their den. I declare supernatural protection and angelic intervention nullifying every attack over your life. You remain surrounded by heaven's forces as you will testify of an outstanding victory and overflowing vindication against false accusations. I pray for supernatural shields securing you in battle as described in Psalm 35, stopping Satan's arrows from gaining foothold in your life or your families. I decree greater dimension of spiritual warfare equipped for your hands as Gideon's army surrounded and sounded trumpets and smashed clay jars at God's command disorienting the intimidating Midian forces with sudden shock and awe. In the name of Jesus I declare God contends with your contenders and fights against every enemy that comes to fight against you according to verse 1 of Psalm 35. May he take up shield and armor on your behalf, releasing angels equipped for battle as flames of fire to subdue demonic oppressors. I pray for vindication against false witnesses and accusers whose words crush like a sledgehammer as I call for God's justice to break deception's grieb as Jeremiah prophesied to the porter's vessel marred then miraculously remade he will restore reputation and grant grace for this next season in your life in the name of Jesus I command the heavenly host according to Psalm 35 verse 5 to confound enemies the secretly plot harm without cause over your life. I invoke Psalm 35, a spiritual authority, releasing angels on assignment to intervene and enforce God's kingdom plans over your life. As chaff before the wind, let wicked schemes and demonic devices against your destiny dissipate and let divine justice manifest quickly in the name of Jesus. I decree divine revelation and strategies from the throne room revealed through dreams and vision in the night of all the enemy's attacks and tactics for you. I pray that as Jacob saw the stairway to heaven and received God's covenant promise, may Abba Father release greater encounters with his angelic messengers in the night watches for you. May he awake your heart to discern heavenly help dispatching breakthroughs even now in the name of Jesus. I lift my voice in earnest supplication, beseeching the boundless grace and unwavering protection of the Lord to cover you. 
shielding you from every onslaught orchestrated by evil forces that seek to undermine your faith and rob you of your peace. I invoke the divine presence of Yahweh to stand as a steadfast wall surrounding you like an impenetrable fortress to schemes and strategies of the adversary in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Almighty, whose power knows no bound, cast his gaze upon you with favor, granting you strength to withstand the relentless assaults of the enemy. With each breath, may you find solace in the knowledge that his divine providence surrounds you, arrayed in beacon of hope amidst the darkness that threatens to engulf you. And in the midst of spiritual warfare, where unseen battles rage and unseen force lurk, I call upon the divine armies to muster their ranks in defense of your soul. Let every principality and power and every ruler of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places tremble at the mention of the Almighty's name. For you are the child of the Most High, destined for victory through faith in the name of Jesus. With each passing moment, may the divine light of truth illuminate your path, guiding you through any confusion, doubt and despair you may face let not the whispers of the adversary sow seed of discord within your heart for you are clothed in the armor of righteousness and fortified by the promises of god in the name of jesus as you journey through the battlefield of life may the words of psalm 35 serve as a resounding anthem of deliverance a testament to the triumph of faith over adversity let it verses resound within your spirit a clear call to arms and in the face of adversity reminding you that the battle belongs to the Lord and victory is assured to those who place their trust in him in the quiet moments of this prayer may you find refuge in the shelter of his wings a sanctuary inviolable to the schemes of the enemy and as you emerge strengthened and emboldened by the power of his love may you walk with confidence knowing that he who is within you is greater than he who is in the world. I declare that as you stand upon the threshold of uncertainty, facing financial hardship that threatens to overwhelm you through the enemy's attack, I call upon the boundless abundance of the Almighty to rain down upon you with provision. May every financial stronghold be shattered, every chain of lack and insufficiency be broken as you trust in the unfailing promises of Jehovah Jireh, our provider. In the name of Jesus, where unseen powers will dominion over the seas, I declare your freedom from the clutches of marine spirits that seek to drown you in despair and confusion with unwavering faith. I command the waves to be still, rebuking every spirit of stagnation and limitation that seeks to hinder your progress. For every web of spiritual entanglements you are ensnared with, with every cord of spirit spouse you are bound with, I cry out in the name of Jesus and in agreement with you for deliverance and release. By the authority in that name, I sever every unholy alliance, breaking every soul tie and renouncing every pact made in darkness. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I reclaim your identity as a child of the Most High as you are liberated from the bondage of spiritual captivity and you remain in the Lord in the name of Jesus. In the face of relentless demonic attacks which assail you from every side as you take refuge in the shelter of the Most High knowing that his angels encamp around you ready to defend you against the fairy hours of the adversary I confront the barriers that obstruct your path, hindering your progress and stifling your dreams. I declare with unwavering faith that every obstacle shall be removed and is removed. Every mountain shall be cast into the sea and it's cast out now in the name of Jesus. Wherever the clash of kingdoms reverberates through the heavens, I declare you will stand firm upon the promises of God, wielding the sword of the word and the shield of faith. I declare that you will never again be afraid of the enemy as you press on knowing that the battle has already been won on Calvary's cross. Therefore, with an uplifted hand on heart, united in faith and stand in agreement with you as we continue to wage war against the forces of darkness, confidence in the assurance of greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. 
I say may the words of Psalm 35 be your anthem of victory, always echoing through the corridors of time and testament to the triumph of faith over adversity as was given even David, you also have received in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you in the name of Jesus, blessing your life in the name of the Lord who trains your hand for war and your fingers for battle according to Psalm 144 verse 1. I declare the Lord's help for the battle ahead, declaring victory over every enemy that rises against you. As I decree the Lord as your rock, fortress and deliverer, hence no harm can come near you and your loved ones in the name of Jesus. Like Gideon's army with only 300 men defeated the vast Midianite forces with trumpets, clay jars and torches, I pray that God teaches your hands to wrestle and your fingers to fight, giving you victory over enemies greater in number through his mighty power and an outstretched arm in the name of Jesus. I pray for you to be delivered from foreign domination and wicked people as David cries out to the Lord to rescue him in Psalm 144 verse 7. I declare the Lord saves you from the grasp of your enemies, redeeming you from oppression. I pray that every enemy that pursues and surrounds you shall perish before your eyes just as Pharaoh's armies were drowned in the Red Sea while the Israelites passed through on dry ground. I declare, blessed be the Lord, your rock and your shield, your strong tower and deliverer, as proclaimed in Psalm 144 verse 1, you are God's beloved child, in him you take refuge. He trains you to warfare so that your hands can destroy the officers of the enemy. He orders his angel armies to advance with you in, into battle so your victory is sure. Therefore, no weapon formed against you shall succeed, for God has given his command to save you. I beseech you, beloved, to speak the praises of God with your mouth, as I pray the Lord gives you the wisdom to fight your battle, as King David led Israel's army with the wisdom of God. I declare the heavenly host fight for you as they did for Elisha. They will surround you with chariots of fire, so no enemy can touch you because those that are for you outnumber those against you. The Lord is your deliverer, your shield in whom you take refuge. He makes the nations bow down before you and puts them under your power, just as King David repeatedly defeated the Philistines by the Lord's hand. By virtue of this ordinance, I ask that he subdues your enemies by his divine strength pursuing and conquering every foe against you in the name of Jesus. Psalm 144 verse 6 declares, Send forth lightning and scatter the enemy, shoot your arrows and rout them. I pray for God's divine intervention right now to send forth his lightning power that breaks through the darkness, releasing it against every enemy, adversary and threat. He will hit your targets precisely, shooting forth his flame and arrows to scatter and destroy the enemy forces assembled against you. I ask that Yahweh delivers you from danger and trouble. May he bombard the devil's camp for the sake of your deliverance and break through and pursue the evil foe and drive them away from you and family. I pray his light pierces every darkness in your life. As I pray for you also that in the name of Jesus, the Lord would intervene and fight the battles that seem insurmountable on your own. May he mobilize his heavenly forces and the mightiest warriors to engage in your struggles and bring about victory according to his promises in the word. As I pray for the establishment of angelic armies around you in the name of Jesus. May the display of God's power be like lightning, overthrowing every range of the enemy against you. Right now, I scatter every force that arises to challenge God's purposes for your life. I trust it is delivering Honda to clear your way and illuminate your path through the empowering work of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty and unmatched name of Jesus Christ, I declare this prayer, believing in your triumph, as I fervently pray that the Lord your unshakable rock and faithful redeemer 
in accordance with Psalm 144 verse 2 will liberate you from the oppressive chains imposed by your adversaries. As King David fearlessly confronted lions and bears threatening his sheep, I declare that the living God shall be your impenetrable shoulder and triumphant rescuer, ensuring your victory over formidable enemies. May divine assistance empower you to overcome every seemingly insurmountable obstacles along your journey in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessings be upon the Lord who equips you for spiritual battle. I decree an augmentation of your spiritual warfare skills leading to the destruction of the kingdom of darkness and with the assistance of God's holy angels, you shall emerge victorious against every towering adversary. Praise be to the maker of heaven and earth, your loving ally who bestows kindness and favor upon you daily. As depicted in Psalm 144, he secures triumph over every spiritual foe and oppressor, liberating you from their dominion. My beloved, I pray abundant blessings upon you, invoking the power of your rock and fortress to fortify you for battle against every spiritual adversary. I declare that the Lord, just as he indefinitely guarded young David in Cambod, will impart spiritual discernment in your warfare against the kingdom of darkness. I fervently proclaim that the living God, your unwavering deliverer, will break the chains that bind you and liberate you from the entanglements of every spiritual Egypt that seeks to imprison you. In the same way the Almighty freed Israelites from the oppressive grip of the Egyptians, he will navigate the complexities of your present day struggles and bring forth a divine deliverance. May the Lord unravel the intricacies of modern challenges that attempt to hold you captives, be it in the form of societal pressures, personal struggles, or any entanglement that hinder your freedom. Just as the Red Sea parted for the Israelites, I declare divine interventions in your life, creating pathways of escape and opening doors to freedom. I pray that as you navigate through the complexities of this modern era, trust in the living God, your deliverer who is faithful to bring about liberation. May he shatter the chains that bind you and dismantle those strongholds that seek to imprison you, leading you into a place of newfound freedom and abundance. I pray the Almighty God in his infinite wisdom and power equips you mightily for the battles that lie ahead through the indwelling of a spirit. I declare that the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the mighty warrior, fights on your behalf, bringing down your enemies just as the walls of Jericho. And with the authority bestowed upon me through the blood of the Lamb, I seal the spray over you. May the mighty hand of the Lord God Most High strengthen you, enabling you to stand unyielding against every adversary. Let Psalm 144 be the anthem of your praise, acknowledging that the Lord is a rock and redeemer. I declare these words of blessing and protection upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak to everyone under the sound of my voice. I pray that you would not fear the threats of enemies, but trust in the Lord's mighty deliverance. He will himself take up a shield and buckler on your behalf against unreasonable and wicked foes. Those who plot harm will be foiled and their traps will ensnare them instead in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are safe under the shadow of God's wings while he repays evil with justice. Though mighty armies encamp around you, the angel of the Lord will protect all who revere his name and you remain one of them. I declare that not by human might or power, but by his spirits, God will prevail for you in the name of Jesus. When enemies arise to ambush and overwhelm you with our cause, I proclaim the Lord's rebuke according to Psalm 35 verse 4. May those who seek your downfall be turned back in confusion and put to shame. May their paths be dark and slippery as angels chase them down. I declare the angel of the Lord will pursue them in the name of Jesus as I decree that nothing will snatch you from the Father's hand or separate you from his love. You will trample every lion and serpent under your foot by the power of the Holy Spirit within you as you stand firm in your rock and refuge. God will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly pestilence. 
where there is injustice against you i pray god's intervention to bring everything done in darkness into light as i declare psalm 35 verse 10 over you your bones will say lord who is like you in rescuing the poor from those too strong for them i declare that as you plead your case before the almighty god who weighs hard you will lift your voice to the most high and in victory your answer would come in the name of jesus i declare that as you fortify through worship and incline your ear to heavenly strategies the a new strength will flood your weary lips when you wait silently on your comforter the lord will exalt his name alone even in your life in the name of jesus he has said it that the battle belongs to the king who split seas and shakes mountain and so you will not fret but trust in his deliverance speedily as it comes i declare no lying witnesses or malicious forces can diminish god's intent to prosper you according to jeremiah 29 verse 11 as you give your hurts to jesus immediately lest you unforgiveness poison your fruitfulness i declare no lying witnesses or malicious forces can diminish god's intent to prosper you according to jeremiah 29 verse 11. i declare that as you go low in surrender to god's will i declare that god's power through the blood of jesus christ works mightily as you believe in him and stand back to watch your victory in jesus name i speak confusion into enemies camp sending assignments that are not of god over to your life as i declare barriers and sabotage against demonic delays and i break all curses trying to deny your victory this evil and sorcery shall not stand against you that are god's anointed because greater is he that is in you than he that is fallen in the world i rebuke tormenting spirits driving cruelty into your life in the name of jesus as i proclaim that no weapon formed against you will prosper though chaos swirl around you for a time yet god's perfect peace surpasses all understanding over you it will guard your mind and heart in christ leading you to still waters of rest and that renew your strength i pray that the holy spirit imparts heavenly strategy to accurately discern roots behind rising conflict you can wisely diffuse tensions rather than react i pray that god will make you an ambassador of reconciliation wherever there is an offense because of the anointing that he has placed over your life may you freely extend the same grace that saved the wretches to all the repentant forces that might come your way to ask for forgiveness for by humility and the fear of the lord are riches honor and life clothed with the gentleness and wisdom that god has bestowed unto you this is your portion in the mighty name of jesus i declare that you will walk blamelessly by god's enabling grace the lord god will nourish you with daily manna from his word as the scripture strengthens your roots for passing storms without being shaken he will hide you in the secret place where no darkness can overtake your dwelling i decree that your hands are readily anointed with steward resources entrusted with integrity and maximum kingdom impact during your sojourn even as this life goes on may the lord teach you to deploy spiritual social and financial capital in aligning with his will as he gives you deliverance in the name of jesus the word of god says as iron sharpness iron and so i pray god leads you to that tribe of fellow sojourners who will find their remember into flame again for your sake so that you will wax stronger I pray that God will surround you with friendships that embolden your specific calling without competition or agenda. I pray that he will replenish you through co-laboring prayer warriors united in serving God first. I pray for discernment for you, wisdom and self-control for you when engaging those hostile towards you. May the Lord help you refrain from speeches that inflame conflicts. May you guard your reactions so peace and blessing can prevail. And Lord, I declare, I subdue any pride in anyone under the sound of my voice or arrogance, defiance or rebellion that offers foothold to the enemy. I declare as they humble themselves to receive godly counsel and feedback from spiritual mentors you are placed in their lives, may the Lord God fight their battles for them. In the name of Jesus, thank you for softening their heart to listen, learn and change even as they grow in this life filled with battles in the name of jesus 
I also declare Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 over you. God has begun a good work in you. You will carry it to the completion by his faithfulness until the day of Christ. May the Lord keep your heart soft and caring to be able to empathize and forgive a miss injustice. When accusations of betrayal come your way, the Lord will enable you to entrust your case to him as the just judge, resisting, reacting, venom for venom. In the name of Jesus, I pray the Holy Spirit will fall fresh upon you. Where brokenness lingers, he will bring merciful healing. Where weariness settles in, the Lord will reinvigorate your bones with hope. He will bind up your inner wounds from past assault, so no root of bitterness springs up to trouble you and yours in the name of Jesus. May the Lord be your strong tower against the enemy who desires to hurt and oppress you. As I declare the Lord most high as your refuge, delivering you from the traps of those who speak lies and deceit against you and your family. I decree the Lord God shields you from poisonous words and the violence of wicked schemers. As David cried out for in Psalm 140 verse 3, May malicious lips be silenced and destroyed as they seek to tarnish your reputation through gossip and slander. I call upon God's angels to guard you from verbal attacks or physical harm devised by evil hearts as no weapon formed against you will prosper in Jesus' name. I pray for you to be kept safe from those who secretly set traps and snares with cords According to Psalm 140 verse 5, may the hidden nets of the wicked fail and their own foot be caught in it as Haman was hanged on the gallows he intended for Mordecai in Esther chapter 7. I declare the evil plans of those who lifted themselves up with pride we come to nothing. The Lord Almighty brings down those with haughty looks and proud hearts. I decree you are protected under the shadow of God's wings as evil rises up against you on every side as David proclaimed in Psalm 140 verse 7. May those who surround you with words of malice and violence be overturned by their own schemes as the transgressors gathered against Daniel but were themselves thrown into the lion's den are the king's command in Daniel 6, so shall it be for all who attack you without cause. In Jesus' name, I commission angelic forces to fight on your behalf against every proud enemy that lifts themselves up against you and every violent man who stirs up conflict without cause. As the angel of the Lord struck down 185,000 Assyrians, in the night to deliver Hezekiah and Jerusalem according to 2 Kings 19, so shall all wicked foes be wiped from your life in the name of Jesus. I pray for your protection according to Psalm 140 verse 4 which says, Keep me safe from the traps set by evil doers. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while I pass by in safety. I stand upon this word and declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And I decree that while thousands fall at your side, it should not come near you. And no evil will conquer you as Isaiah 54 verse 17 promises. I declare the word of the Lord over your life from Psalm 140 verse 7. Sovereign Lord, my strong deliverer, you shield my head on the day of battle. May you be covered in God's armor daily, shielded from arrows of adversity. As the Lord instructed Moses to raise a staff to part the Red Sea in Exodus 14, may he make a way for you when enemies pursue and difficulty surrounds you on all sides. I pray you will be preserved from violent schemers who devise wicked plans in their own heart as David employs in Psalm 140 verse 2. May the Lord unmask hidden motives and agendas set against you as he exposed Haman's sinister plot to eliminate the Jews, bringing about Haman's own execution on the gallows intended for Mordecai. So will he cause evil plans forged against you in secret to fail and backfire to those who contrive them in Jesus' name. I decree angelic intervention over destructive words unleashed towards your life according to Psalm 140 verse 3. I declare the Lord delivers you from slander and defamation that spread like poison. 
as he redeemed Daniel's reputation from the mouth of lions, may he guard and protect your name and work from all verbal assaults. Lips that intend harm will be silenced and are silenced even now in the name of Jesus. I pray for your deliverance from those who set traps with cords and nets according to Psalm 140 verse 4 who seek to secretly ensnare people through manipulation and scheming words that appear harmless on the surface. But the Lord sees hidden motives and agendas are so declare their feet shall be caught in the very snares they laid for you as stated in Psalm 140 verse 10. And I pray every evil plans forged in darkness against you will be exposed by heaven's light in the name of Jesus. I decree supernatural protection over you from the violence poured out by wicked valiance as described in Psalm 140 verse 1 and 11 as the Lord secured David from Saul's spare and sent his angel to close the mouth of lions so shall he shield you from physical harm devised by ungodly men no weapon will touch you as you abide in the sacred place of the Most High day and night I declare you are rescued from the traps of the enemy who longs to destroy your life and purpose according to Psalm 140 verse 5 as God thwarted the advice of Ahithophel against King David in 2 Samuel 17 bringing his counsel to nothing so shall he cause every diabolical scheme aimed at hurting you to fail and come to nothing no plan verge in hell can succeed against a blood-bought child of heaven. So also finally I decree angels to guard you in all your ways, securing you round about, before and behind, as declared in Psalm 140 verse 7. As Elisha witnessed the mountain filled with the Lord's fiery chariots, may you walk surrounded by mighty warring angels on seeing the spots for your defense. No foe can penetrate his heavenly host, secured by the banners of the Lord of hosts. And so I seal this prayer over you, my beloved friend, thanking the Lord God for he covers you with his righteous hands, securing your victory over every enemy. May you continue to dwell in the secret place of God's presence always in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we give thanks, knowing that this has been answered. Amen. Please subscribe to our channel and God bless you as you do so.